Hello and welcome back, my name is Jack Lee, I'm a PGA professional and today I'm going to show you how to hit four of the worst shots you could possibly hit in the game of golf. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. Right then, so first up, we're going to think about the top shot. What do you need to do to hit a successful top shot? Well, what we need to be thinking is that strike location, so as close as we can, Get it not in the middle of the face, but on the bottom of the club. That would be absolutely ideal if we could do that. Technique wise, I'm thinking a lot of lifting. So a bit of early extension would be great if you can get that pelvis working towards the golf ball. You should see that that kind of lifts everything up. If we can get into a really good golf posture to start, and then by the time we return that club back to impact, we're up and out of it, possibly on our tiptoe. That would also be tremendous. Instead of incorporating a proper chest rotation where we feel as though right side is lower than our left side impact and our chest is opened up to that target, if you could almost feel as though that perhaps that chest stays down but you lift your arms, that'd also be a great idea. Again, we've got the chicken wing, so if you could lift that club this way as well, these are all great ideas and hopefully will contribute to a shot a little bit like this. Okay, so that's the top shot. Now let's talk about the second scariest shot in golf. That is the shank. Obviously the first scariest shot in golf is the shot immediately after a shank. What do we need to do in order to get that club right out of that juicy bit there? Similar to the top shot in the way that we want to be thinking lifting and presenting that bottom groove to the club. If we could think of a shank, all I want you to do is swing that centre of mass, that centre of gravity of the club out towards the golf ball so if you can swing it over the top that would be absolutely perfect that would be sensation other ways again early extension is normally a good one for this so we'll get that pelvis moving up and out to the golf ball and then we'll present that heel that way if you can get your path coming excessively either from out to in to hit it with the ozzel that way or excessively in to out also really good ideas and when we're thinking about grip pressure when you do start to shank a few if you want to continue shanking it it's a great idea to grip it really as tight as you can all great ideas and hopefully to contribute to a shot a little bit like this. Okay, now let's go to the exact opposite end of that spectrum. Let's think about another shank, but this instance is a toe shank, so let's get it going out of that bit there. And yep, you guessed it, it's the exact opposite. So I want you to be thinking that club is working excessively on the inside. Again, one thing that will really help you toe shank it is a really excessive out to win path, but this time I want you to really feel as though you're pulling those hands in towards the body. So if you can get them hitting your left thigh as you're turning through, that would be great, that will get it out of the toe. Posture wise, if you feel as though your dynamic balance is very much on your heels as well, and it remains on your heels, so if you can hit some shots where you lift your toes up, like that, that'll get the club moving this way and present that toe to the golf ball again, which is really good. That's what we're trying to achieve with the toe shank. So let's give it a go. Let's see what that looks like. So I've got weight really in my heels. I'm going to pull those hands in, exaggerating the out to in path, hopefully to myself in the uh, left thigh there. See if we can get a toe shank going off. Oh yes, beauty. Lovely. And finally, this one is my personal favourite, this is the fat shot. So what we need to be thinking when it comes to the fat shot is, let's get that weight very much so on our left side. If we could almost start one-legged with our right foot in the air, this will then accentuate that angle of attack. Now I want to see it in the range of 25 to 30 degrees down on that angle of attack. Your pro players, you see it round about naught with the driver. If we can get it 25 to 30 degrees down with that angle of attack, that would be great. Then, when we think about controlling low point, forget about hitting the golf ball first and the ball after looking for that pure strike. We're here to fat it, so what I want you to do is hit as far behind the golf ball as you possibly can, still trying to make the teeniest, tiniest contact with that ball. That would be absolutely superb. Other extraneous variables that help with fatting the golf ball are tremendously poor lies, so if you've got a really terrible lie like I have there, that will help you. And just as a side note, an extreme lack of controlling that loft on the golf club will possibly lead you to uh, fat it also. I like... Um, an extremely late release, so really get that club digging in, extremely de it. I also like a really early release, if we can get it casting back there, so that we're making contact with that ground approximately a foot behind where we're meant to. Let's give the fat shot a go.
So there you go, hopefully, after this you now know how to hit the four worst shots possible in golf. And potentially, if you are hitting any of these consistently, you might also kind of know how to fix it and sort it now. But hey, I'll leave that to you. If you've liked this video, please like, share and subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching. Leave a comment if you've enjoyed this video as well. If you want to see me do any videos of this style, again, let me know. It's been great to hear it. Thank you ever so much for the positive feedback that I've seen on videos uh, in the last kind of four or five that I've done. Uh, the YouTube Golf Day video, incredible feedback on that. Uh, so thank you for everyone that's commented on that and sent me uh, good wishes. But yeah, until next time, bear these in mind. Stop doing it if you're playing real golf. Thanks for watching. Cheers.